everybody, it's Dr. Friels here. Today I have a really cool ingrown toenail. It's really um, digging in there. How long has it been here? About three or four months. Three, that's it? Okay, so um, he's developed something called pyogenic granuloma. He's got it on both sides. It's been oozing. Um, he's been on antibiotic for, did they put you on for seven days or 14? I think it was about 10. 10 days, okay, right there. Um, it was on Keflex, so it helped quite a bit with the, the drainage. But we're gonna once we remove the edges, we'll see if there's any more that wants to come out with it. So take a peek what we're looking at here. So granuloma, granuloma, and from what I can see, if you kind of go here, you can go, you can see how it's digging into the skin. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna numb it up first, then I'm gonna take out these little edges. I'm hoping to keep your toenail on. I will tell you if you know fluid has started to leak underneath the nail bed and underneath the nail. Um, it'll help lift it up and it'll just kind of come off on its own. So I'm hoping it's gonna stay intact, but if it doesn't, it's just because it's gotten so infected and ingrown, okay? So we're also gonna put some silver nitrate on that to get the granulomas. So granulomas um, occur because the tissue is trying to protect itself. And so it starts building up extra tissue. It's highly vascular, which just means there's a lot of um, bleeding and blood that's associated with it. So the medication I'm going to use is called silver nitrate. They actually use it to, um, if you trim your dog's claw too short and it starts bleeding, you can silver nitrate it. It's a cauterizing agent. Okay, so just relax your toe here. I can see you. There we go. Now go to your happy place. Here we go. This is the hard part. Quick little stick. All right, just think about how much better this is gonna feel. How are you even wearing a shoe with this? It's, um, I usually just take um, pain medicine for it. Oh my gosh, what pain medicine are you taking? Um, it's just um, it's over the counter. Okay. Well, it's gonna feel significantly better just getting those edges out. Next time, don't wait. And so, I really want to show you guys this at home because this is what's going to happen. You know, if you do it in this, you know, three, four months. I've only ever, I don't, this is the only the second thing I've ever had. Like the first one was, I think maybe about a month before I had this. Oh, you're kidding. It got infected too, but I managed to get it out before it started like this. Mm hmm So you got that one out. I had someone else get it out for me. Because okay. <laughs> I had no idea anything about it. So you had another podiatrist remove it? Yeah. Okay. Almost there, you're doing great. So as you know, this is the hard part. So they numbed it up the same way. Okay. Good deal, guys. All right, well, we are gonna get set up. So give me just a second, get all that arranged, and then we'll get those little pieces out, so. All right, everybody, we are back. Let's take a look at this toenail. All right. So first thing I'm gonna do is free up the edges here. We've already tested it. He said he didn't feel anything. You change your mind, you let me know. Okay, so that one's free and you kind of feel it just give super easy. Now that green alone is in my way. So I'm gonna go back this one. We've got, looks like some debris or part of the, there's some debris and a little bit more of the green alone coming underneath the nail. So free that edge up. And this will go back easy now. If you feel okay? Okay. Um, if you uh, don't free those edges up, you'll kind of just be wrestling with the toenail. It will not, it has a hard time releasing. The nail itself, I can't really tell if the, especially the back part here, if infection's under there or not. So we'll get everything cleaned up and determine if it's, the nail's gonna be viable. All right, so here is the root of the nail. So we gotta make sure we get that. If you leave that piece in, this is coming back. Okay, there's come some debris. So you're gonna go home, kick this up in the air, right? <laughs> come on over. Where are you? That's pretty big. 
both edges were big. Look at that. All of that was pretty much underneath the skin. Wow. Yeah. So that's why your the toe was not happy. And that's the wing. It's basically the root of the nail. If you do not get this, it will come back. So important. So I'm going to check the edges, make sure I don't feel anything back there. Nope, nice and clean. Good. Now let's get the granulomas out of the way. One down, one to go. You can just see how, we talked about how vascular that gets. This is... Do you remember if both sides started hurting or was it one side that started first? It was the right side. Started. It was, yeah. That's the one that's kind of growing a little. Okay. I'm gonna do the uh, chemical first for the um, toenail. Now, he's just getting over an infection. Also, let's definitely keep our nail a little bit shorter. The reason is if you keep it too long, it could bump up against the shoe and that'll create an ingrown actually back here. It loosens up the nail and you can get an ingrown on either side, but back there as well. I was just worried about messing up it. That's why I didn't do anything about it. Yeah, have some more gauze, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, make sure. Looking so, looking good so far. Sometimes you'll see that chemical tunnel under the nail and then you're likely gonna have some nail damage. Yeah, I get it all the way back at that root. So we'll get the roots first, then we'll get the vinegar on there, clean everything up, make sure we don't get any third degree burns on the skin. And then we'll silver nitrate the granulomas. So um, if you're asking yourself, you know, why wouldn't I send these uh, soft tissue or the granulomas, which is soft tissue, um, to the lab is because this is new. You know, this is only three, four months old. If it were something long-term, uh, then I would definitely, or if something comes back, we'll definitely send them off to the lab, okay? But I don't think we need to at this point. vinegar and get this cleaned up and it does seem like every time we do these videos I am wearing white pants <laughs> so for everybody that wants to comment about my white pants you know it's not a bloodbath down here I mean I'm not <laughs> it's a toe all right let's get that silver nitrate let's make gauze please thank you Okay, just roll that on there. Again, it's gonna cauterize it. And the next time I see him, the skin's actually gonna retract back here. So it's gonna pull in, um, and this is also will debulk over time. Everything wants to come back to normal. If I were to take the tourniquet off right now, this guy would really be bleeding. Okay, all right. So, whoop, you're done. Wow. Let's go nice. ahead. Yeah, good. Not too bad? No. All right, so you're gonna have to wrap that super fast. Are you ready? Oh, let's do it. Okay. okay. Go for it. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, everybody, while she's wrapping that up, we're gonna wrap this video up. Don't forget, comment below, like the page if you wanna see something or if you have an ingrown toenail you're concerned about. Post a picture of it. We'll tell you, or I'll tell you what, uh, I think if you need to come in or find a local podiatrist. Okay, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.